Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShark.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, I'm not selling this uh, as a kit or a module, uh, but I did want to show it off because I thought it was kind of a neat idea. Uh, I just got into uh, playing around with some uh, 1602A LCDs. Might get into a tutorial a little bit later, but um, it came to me the other day that I needed, for a very specific application, a uh, device that could be uh, sabotaged. And I've actually, this video really is about sabotage. Um, I created a program that, uh, based on how many times you, you can, you can actually program in a number, of how many times it can be powered on before it becomes useless. So, I can reprogram the microcontroller and it'll be fine, but programming the microcontroller takes up, uh, you know, it requires a, uh, a programmer. So I've programmed this uh, microchip to power up safely five times, six times you power it up, system's fried. And to demonstrate that, on the LCD it will actually say that. Um, I'll uh, power it up for the first of six times. Should say system ready. And I'm going to power it down. So imagine that as the normal routine. Uh, the normal program. Obviously, I wrote this custom for this video, but uh, so let's power it up for a second time. System ready. Powered up the third time. System ready. Fourth time. Fifth time. Now that's the last time the uh, system can be used. The program is now uh, is now useless because I've programmed the chip with the subroutine that says, uh, has it been powered up five times? Okay, yes. Sixth time I power it up, system fried. And from now on, no matter what I do, the system will be fried. Now, I, this, basically the subroutine that does this has nothing to do with the, what's, what's being said on the LCD. I can copy and paste this uh, subroutine, this sabotage routine, uh, wherever I want in a code so that uh, after you power it up however many times you want, it could be uh, one to, or two to 256 times, you can, you can add another uh, register and 8-bit uh, register and make it so that uh, it takes millions of times before it, it it stops working. But for my application, I needed for it to uh, actually it was 25 times for my application. Once you power it up 25 times, the 26th time, uh, basically the uh, hardware in question would not power on, or rather it powered on but went into kind of a uh, uh, a software loop. So I mean, I'm really just kind of showing this off because I thought it was kind of a neat idea. Might be, it might give some other people some interesting ideas. Um, I just keep unplugging and plugging back in, and from now on, the system is fried. The chip is now useless. The chip can now only do this, and it says system fried because I specifically programmed it in so that when the system was fried or unusable, it went to the routine uh, that was programmed in on the LCD as system fried. But as you, as you saw, powered up five times safely, six times, wouldn't work. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more with LCDs these days. I just powered uh, this one up. Uh, this is my first LCD circuit I was playing with. Uh, I'm going to integrate them into a lot of my new products, uh, namely a, a combination lock, a very small combination lock. It'll be kind of neat. I'm hoping to have it out before Christmas. Uh, anyway, lots of neat new stuff on the way. I'm trying to get everything uh, integrated up in the store. Tons and tons of new kits and uh, new products, so if you have time, visit us at engineeringshock.com, electroniclessons.com, and paintballprops.com. Sorry if I rambled on a little bit, guys, and thanks for watching.